Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do One Piece Pirate Warriors 2. Pirate Warriors 2 game-related news. Now, if you guys don't already know, the game is going to come out March 20th in Japan. And for those of us who live in the States, in Europe, or in Canada, we are going to get the game over the summer. The summer of 2013. Now, that, that does suck. What sucks even more is that if you live in the States, of course, that only means one thing. Digital release. Fuck my life. But... Besides that, this video is not about that. This video is about three particular things that have occurred recently, news related wise, about the game One Piece Power Warriors 2. Now, first things first, it was released two days ago that Marco the Phoenix, Marco the Phoenix, call, he is, <laughs> call, what the fuck was that? He is a playable character in the game. He is a playable character in the game the game. As so are other characters such as, of course, Kizaru, uh, Aokiji, Garp is a playable character, Crocodile, Dracula Mihawk is a playable character, there's a shit ton, NL. Out of all the characters I just mentioned, the most important one is NL, by leaps and bounds. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh. Yo, I'll be spanning. Oh, NL. Yes. Yes, the most important character that is of mention that is playable is NL. Lightning God NL. That's my, that's my nigga. All right, so that's number one. All right, number one, you can look in the description down below for that article. All right, that's number one. Number two is that there has been some game footage released of certain characters. And this first, and, and so this second uh, link in the description down below will be of game footage of Chopper. Luffy, Nami, and Bartholomew Kuma. I know, random. I, I don't and he's a playable character. Nami, post time skip. Chopper, post time skip. Luffy, post time skip. And Bartholomew Kuma, post time skip. I'm not gonna lie to you. Nami surprised me. She really did. I was like, because Luffy was beastly, obviously. Kuma, warp. Just smacking motherfuckers. I'm like, damn. But Nami surprised me. She really did. Chopper is Chopper, so we'll, 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 we'll leave it at that, alright? But again, the second link down below will be of game footage of those four characters, right? And the third link down below is more game footage of more characters. Now, this now these characters are as follow. Uh, Trollfogger Law, which was fucking it was nasty. Uh, Smoker, uh, Perona, and Robin. And below Robin, there's actually like a complete full revamp trailer. Of the One Piece, of the One Piece Power Warriors 2 game itself, and the backstory, and how this takes place in the new world, and how they're revamping mad shit. The game is really confusing story wise, because, I mean, I, obviously, because it incorporates both pre and post time skip characters. It's like post time skip Luffy against like pre time skip Kizaru, and it's like, what the fuck is going on? It's like, Post time skip Sanji is taking on, you know, well, actually, no, like, you, like, you get my point. You get my point, all right? There's a mix of both pre and post time skip. And mainly due to the fact that the series right now, post time skip, has only really had two arcs Fishman Island and, you know, yeah, Fishman Island and Punk Hazard. Now, the thing here is that there is a post time skip Jinbei. Fighting against a pre time skip Gecko Mori. It's like, you know, so it's a weird contrast between post time skip and pre time skip. But the game, despite that, the game, it does look very enjoyable. And of course, one of the most major gripes that I had about the first Power Warriors game was the lack of characters. Because One Piece is, is a series known for its vast character, for, for its uh, vast character roster. It has a wide range of all kinds of characters. And the fact that they only had, like, the main Straw Hats, Jean Bay, Ace, Boa Hancock, and Whitebeard. I was like, what the fuck? Like, it was a very small character roster. But but from what it looks like, I'm not too sure. But from what it looks like, the, like, seeing the actual full revamp trailer of Kaiju of Musou 2. 
it looks like each of the characters are going to have their own story. Now, I'm not too sure about that, but it looks that way. And that's very cool. What's really cool is the Edo story. Mm, let's go. Yeah. But, uh, and of course, Smoker's story is cool too. Law, Perona, she's a playable character, you know. So, you know, but whatever. The thing about it is that the game, we're going to have to wait for a while for us in the States. For those in Japan, you guys already know. Well, you guys are going to know in like, you know, it's 19 days. So, if you guys can speak English and type English, let me know in the comment section down below later on how the game is, how it plays, if the story modes of all characters are actually there, and so on and so forth. So, this is the King Lightning. Once again, look down in the description down below for the articles. Again, the first article being playable characters, mainly Marco the Phoenix. The second one being uh, actual game footage of characters in the game, Chopper, Luffy, Nami and Kuma, post time skip all of them. Well, not Kuma. And the second one, you know, and, and the third link in the description down below being more playable character footage on top of the revamped uh trailer of the entire game. And the and the actual characters that, that we see uh game footage of are Nico Robin post time skip, post time skip Perona. I don't know how it works out exactly because she hasn't done shit post time skip, but whatever. Post time skip Trel Vega <laughs> Trel Vega Law and post time skip Smoker. So that's it. King Lightning, once again, be sure, of course, rate, comment, and subscribe as always. And I'm signing out. Peace. Have a nice day.